What's up guys, not Super Mario here and welcome to today's video. Happy Valentine's Day. If you are celebrating it or if you don't believe it, happy Valentine's Day anyway, I guess. Uh, that's not the point of this video. I'm here to review Creed 2. And you're maybe wondering why are you reviewing this movie four or five months after it came out? Well, in Slovenia it came out uh, this month. I was so upset when they changed the release date from October to February. I was like, what the actual heck? I was so excited. I love Creed 1. I love the Rocky franchise. And I was devastated to see that I'm gonna have to wait four, five months till I see this movie. But now I've seen it. And to be completely honest, I was worried. Ryan Coogler um, did not come back, Stephen Capel Jr. Uh, took over and he had some big shoes to fill it. But this movie is awesome. This movie is unbelievable. Like I said, I love the first one, now I can say I love the second one. I, I mean, if you're a fan of Rocky franchise in general, you're gonna love this. It's everything that you want and more. The performances, are great. Michael B. Jordan, Sylvester Stallone, Tessa Thompson is amazing. I mean, she is incredible. She can do no wrong. Exactly the same goes for Michael B. Jordan. I mean, this guy is so freaking talented. The, the connection that he has with, with Sylvester Stallone in this movie is unbelievable. The emotional stakes they go through, you can, you are happy, you cheer, you, you cry, you get, you get every single possible emotion that human can produce. Second thing, Dolph Lundgren came back and I mean his dynamic with his son is so powerful. Again, emotional stakes they go through. I was on my edge. I mean, it was incredible. It was so awesome to see as well Bridget Nielsen to come back. This movie, I cannot praise it enough. I, I, I don't know what's, what's the bad thing about this movie. I, I, I mean, I, I'm trying to find something to nitpick, but because I seen it yesterday and I'm so thrilled that it is so good because the first one was Unbelievable. Ryan Coogler made an amazing movie. Sylvester Stallone was nominated for an Oscar in Supporting Actor and he was snubbed for that. I don't know how the hell he didn't win. I mean, probably he didn't win because he already did win for Rocky 1. And I mean, but either way, it was dumb. You're, uh, this movie, I mean, there's no nominations for this movie, but it's incredible. Stephen Capel Jr. did an amazing job as a director. The way he balanced the emotional stakes and intensity of the fights. I mean, if we're talking about fights, they are so well shot. I, I had a feeling I'm in the arena watching it live. It was so intense, brutal, uh, like I, exciting. It, it was unbelievable. It was really unbelievable maybe, maybe this movie was a bit too long. I mean, you've got, uh, the, at the beginning, you've got the, this fight between and this qualification and then all montages, uh, I mean, montages are, are, are great in my opinion. Uh, then you've got all the things with Rocky. Now they're not together. Now they're together. How they're gonna fix it. Then at the end, they're again doing the same thing. So maybe my nitpick that the movie is a bit too long but it is an amazing sequel, an amazing send off for Sylvester Stallone's Rocky because in my opinion, this is gonna be his last like portrayal of Rocky. I mean, at the end, an amazing send off, amazing goodbye, the way he meets with his son and, for, and first time seeing his grandson. It's an unbelievable scene. And I think they, they, they don't finish <clears throat> the way that he cannot be back for Creed 3, but I think this is his last time being Rocky and what a legacy he left with this character. He's doing Rambo and I think Rambo as well is gonna be his last Rambo also coming out this year. So I'm excited for that as well. But the one thing that I'm really excited to see where this franchise goes forward. If there's no Sylvester Stallone, uh, they lose, a, of course, an amazing character, amazing, 
uh, story to follow, but because it was such an awesome send off for Rocky, I mean, Michael B. Jordan can lead this franchise on its own for, for sure. I mean, Tessa Thompson, uh, everybody else surrounding this movie. I'm so excited for the future. I'm so excited that I've seen this movie, even though it was so late, it's awesome. So the grading, of course, the grade is gonna be because, yeah, it was a bit long at the end. I was like, okay, I, I would short that and a bit that, but that's just my personal opinion. So I'm giving this movie 8.8. .8. It's an unbelievable movie, awesome sequel. What a follow up for the first one. Cannot wait to see the future of this franchise. If that means no Rocky or more Rocky, who knows? I At the end of the day, I don't really care because this was such a great send off. So if there's no Sylvester Stallone in the future Creed movies, I wouldn't mind because Michael B. Jordan, Tessa Thompson and all the supporting cast can lead this franchise into the glory and build their own legacy with Adonis Creed character. I mean, they can do that. So this was my awesome discombobulated review like always for Creed 2. To share your thoughts in the comments down below. If you've seen the movie, what is your opinion? Do you agree with me? Do, do you, do you not, do you don't? I almost said do you don't, do you don't, do, do you not agree with me? And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, share this video all over the place, click that bell icon to get notified when I upload and I see you next time.